Hey everybody and thanks for jumping back into the PSP Learning Zone. My name is Richard and today we're going to be talking about Petsitter Plus version 7, customizing the client portal. If you guys like the content and you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you click the notification bell so that we can send you more videos like this in the future. Let's jump straight in. In version 7, the client portal has been completely modernized and there are now a number of different ways that you can really show off your own branding. To demonstrate this, we need a live client website. And so a great big shout out goes to Joette White of Park City's Pet Sitter, based in Dallas, Texas, for letting us use her website for this video. Note for this website, the header is on a white background the body of the website is also on a white background and the footer is on a blue background. These are all things that we need to be aware of as we start the customization process. The next thing we need to do is look at the client portal login screen and here we're looking at a version that has not yet been tailored. In this video we're going to turn this into this so that the header and footer matches the Park City's website. To do this, I'm going to open Petsitter Plus version 7 and navigate to Admin, Settings, Client Portal, Customize Login. And in here, you'll find a number of simple controls to help you to customize your login page. Let's go ahead and customize the header. The header background color control defaults to white. And as our header background on our actual website is white, we don't have to change this setting. Next, we're going to add a company name, which is going to appear to the left-hand side of our header, but to the right-hand side of the logo. On the Park City's website, they display their company name and tagline. So I'm going to enter that information here, and I'm going to use the HTML formatting controls to change the text to match the website. In the next field, we can add some contact information that will appear on the top right. On the Park City's website, they have some contact information followed by a list of the service areas that they cover. So we can go ahead and enter that information here and then use the formatting controls to make the text appear more like our website. Click Update. Refresh the page. And in less than a minute, our client portal login screen header is now tailored to our website header, and it's looking great. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the footer. This time round, because the footer of the Park City's website is a blue color, we're going to need to change the setting of the footer background control color. But before we do that, we need to know exactly what shade of blue to use. For that, I'm using a super useful free product called Pixie, which tells me the exact HTML color code of any screen pixel that my mouse is pointing to. All I need to do is point my mouse to the Park City's website footer, and Pixie tells me that the HTML color code is 0C629D. I can now use Control Alt and C to copy the HTML color code and then I simply paste that into the background footer color control in Petsitter Plus. Click update and now my background color is locked in. Now let's go ahead and add some text to the footer. To do this you can either copy and paste the information from your website and into PSP or you can type the text in manually. If your website allows you to copy and paste, and not all do, you might pick up some unwanted HTML formatting codes during the copy. As you can see here, my copied text has an unwanted background color, which we need to get rid of. So, 
To strip out unwanted HTML formatting from your text, simply highlight the text and click the TX button. Job done. Now you're looking at plain, unformatted text with all the HTML formatting removed. Let's now use our trusty HTML formatting tools to make our text look like our website. Finally, we need to re-add the links to the terms and conditions and the privacy notice. And probably the easiest way to do that is this. Open each document on the website by clicking the link. Copy the URL of the page. Select the text where the link will go in PSP. Click the link symbol, paste the link URL into the dialog, click save and we're done. Now we can repeat the process and add the text for the right hand side of the footer. Copy and paste the text. Remove the unwanted formatting. Format the text. Job done. Click update. A quick refresh of the screen. And our login page is all good to go and looks amazing. And by the way, this page, like all other pages on Petsitter Plus, is fully responsive. So if we look at the page on mobile or any other size device, it's going to look great. So that's it for this video. If you guys like the content and you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you click the notification bell so that we can send you more videos like this in the future. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.